Hi, everybody. Welcome to Not Too Shabby Chic. I'm Dale, and I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to everyone who is a subscriber. And if you're not, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button, the like button, and um, the bell so you'll be notified when I do new videos. Today, I'm just going to show you my progress on some of my cookbook journals. I did one for my secret sister at church and I gave it to her and she absolutely loved it and cried. Um, and this one is sold. Um, I am in the process of waiting on her to get me some of her mother's and her handwritten recipes and pictures in her family to include. She loved the one I did for my secret sister and wanted one similar. Not decorated the cover yet. Um, and this is again a Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook, which is not new. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to give you progress so far. I did another belly band out of this Diana Markham fabric. Um, did I say belly band? No closure for the journal to cinch it up and because it'll be it'll be a gator mouth i just know it so um just put something here and I, i'll decorate this but all of the, none of it's really embellished i've just got my pages i've done all my um hole reinforcers oh and did you notice fiona has a friend he's a little vintage elf so we're going to call him elmer elmer elf and fiona flamingo so um he's she's giving him a ride and um, i told them that was fine and flo is still on vacation so um i have this out of a paper pack which is really pretty christmas paper This is one of the indexes, and I glued down this page from the book um, with apple pie. This is an ideals page with a um, poem about the kitchen. And I back that with some red polka dot. I've got the promise, a Christmas countdown from December 1st through December 31st with a different scripture each day. This is a page from Sherry Schmier, Studio 28E, and here is just a little journaling spot, things to do, notes, and a shopping list that you can use. I've not sewn any of the pages, inked, or anything. I've got to go around and do some sewing. So that's that. This is from the original. It's a really pretty page that has lots of colors and there's a glare let's see if we can do it like this i love this paper it's from a paper pack that's one of my favorites and i don't remember if it's noteworthy might be noteworthy and this was a christmas card i um he was on a christmas card and i fussy cut him out and put him on this blue paper i just love that little santa he's holding a gift these are from the original book, Removing Spots and Stains, and it's got some really cool remedies to get rid of things. So I thought, um, sh you know, that's good in here. It was in the other one. So I tried to keep things very similar, although they couldn't be the same because I don't have the same things twice. This is the ball jar I've used before and a printable too, and I don't remember where I got these. This is from Rachel and Bella Crafts, A to Z collaboration that we did um did i glue it yep i glued it closed um so just a cute little journaling spot and here is a pretty card to make a recipe a write a recipe i should say here's some pages from the original book and i glued like a couple together so that um, it would be sturdier this is out of a paper pack and i made it into like a drawer that you would have in your kitchen or whatever and here's a santa tag a vintage um, recipe card and this um, little journaling spot made just for you 
and looks like a guest check somewhat and um that's from sherry schmear's kitchen kit here's two pockets these are all from paper packs and we've got this um out of a children's book because this person loves gingerbreads so she wanted a lot of gingies in here so i i will back that got to include some this is just a from a christmas card i believe it's just what i've got done i haven't embellished like i said i love this christmas card and it's like a purse and i wanted to include that and i'll probably stitch around it and obviously we'll embellish the pages it's blank right now this is from ideals magazine and it's got an original page glued that i need to fix and you see to the right gingerbread man this is from um a children's book that i have had <laughs> still using pages from it but it's really cute it's a scratch and sniff and this one is with a gingerbread i don't think it works anymore but it might some more of this paper is strawberries this is from mary Inglebright. it's a fine seasoning for joy to think of those we love and she's cooking um, cookies then we've got this is from sherry smears kit um and this is santa whiskers um dessert and crumb cake and some other recipes but i love the santa's whiskers for christmas this is another mary Inglebright. the more the merrier and you see the gingerbread men and all the different cookies these are um a little purse um that i did and this when you hold it up to the light it's a fruit stand it's a vintage um slide and you can see the people and the fruit stand it's really old these are just for looks and this is made to be a little shopping bag that i made and the little dress is a tuck spot i learned to do these from g kerr and this is a santa uh, playing card and this is a vintage tag for tobacco i believe that was with some plaid fabric and that paper is out of a paper pack and this is the back it's plain i glued another pack paper pack here this will be a pocket this is from the original um book chris K kringle salad again santa theme and some of my green dyed paper i used food coloring grandma's aprons i love that poem and i glued that little boy on there from another page and here's the other part of that poem of grandma's apron this is a vintage page from something i don't remember write extra recipes here out of obviously a recipe book and i did some wonky stitching and highlighted in green and there's a rooster with my wonky stitching and i love that rooster this is um cutting up a chicken i never learned how to do that i would do well to look at that probably storing and thawing chicken glossary and then here's some other original pages i backed with cardstock um this is a really cute little cluster i did with um this i got at hobby lobby um some fabric i have this was from tuesday morning i included this cute little mini book merry christmas and it's just coffee dyed and i put coffee stains all over it you know i had a mess that morning i don't know what was wrong with me just a little journaling spot i made this cute shaker tag out of a ball jar and tied it So it's got some little flowers, some foil things, a couple of buttons, but it's cute. Then we've got Sherwood Forest Peppermint Barb. And I've not, again, finished all of this, but it's got the recipe for it there. And then a things to do card. So I love the shaker card. Um, this was from Dollar Tree, I think. That's a, something I fussy cut. This is one of my clusters here, some vintage buttons and a library pocket and one of those 
ball jars. Cute for a tag. This is one of the original pages, and I cut these out of a placemat that I got at Hobby Lobby last year and added um, this little ball jar. Our little jar is from Sherry Schmier's kitchen kit. And then a couple of little tiny tags that are blank on the back. That was a cute little tuck spot. Here's one of my clusters I made into a um, altered paper clip that says laughter. And it's holding down this from KB and Friends corn tag. And I used a piece of this um, fabric. And I love this setting here, country looking kitchen. This is um, from Hopeful Bird, Psalm 138.3. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. And I love that verse. And here's some rickrack, a little vintage lace. And then we have a couple, some tags. This is a replica of a vintage advertisement. I'm trying to get whatever that is off. Journal on the back. This is canned apple pie filling. This is in Sherry Smears kitchen or Christmas um, kit. I don't remember which one, but um, her mother wrote these. This is her handwriting. So I thought that sweet. Then a vintage um, blank card. A couple of those to write recipes on. And that goes in. I know this is a pocket. I should have cut a thumb hole. That goes in that pocket. And that says, let it snow. It's just a cute little jute thing. This is a tuck spot. The vintage flash card for words, jam. And then this was glued down under here. And it's an envelope that will be a pocket. Love this picture out of the Ideals magazines. Um, love the tea set, the tea or either coffee and biscuits or muffins. And that's sweet. That is getting messed up. Let's see if I can pull that through. My goodness gracious. It is really hung. There. My word. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, that'll be a pocket. This is a side tuck. And this is um, from a kit, and I don't remember who I got it from. Um, this is from Sherry Schmears, um, a Santa Claus. And I had made it a pocket and got excited and sewed all around it. And then the polka dot paper here, which I love, from the original book. And this wants to be a little funny right there, but it's as good as I could fix it. This is another um, page from that children's book with another scratch and sniff for an orange. It's a little bear family. I love that picture. Here's a um, cardstock. This is her grandchildren. I've got that in a CD. I've got to decorate it. I love this paper. I don't know what it was from, but I love it. Pockets on each side. This is a gift tag um, to hold a gift card, but I have inserted. I'm bad for this. Gluing things down. Four Easy Bake Holiday Pudding Cakes. This was from Sherry Schmier's kit as well. Kind of opens up like that. And then the recipes on the back. We've got journaling space there. Let's see if that'll behave now. Let's go. Um, this is just a pocket. This is from KB and Friends. I don't know where I got that. And these are some recipes. Cranzania, sweet smoky ham, your own granola, and then this is Neverland hot chocolate with star marshmallows. And it gives you the recipe for the hot chocolate. 
so those are fun. Um, this is just a cup of hot chocolate, and I put some cute little, that's from a piece of fabric, and little felt, not felt, foam stickers. I love this page. This is a ruffle I made with some old fabric. And this um, does not come out, but there are tags. This was in my secret sister's journal, and I took it out because I don't think she'd know what to do with it and decided this person would. And so we've got several different tags. This is a vintage one that you can pull out for journaling space. And that one's cork, so you can't journal on that. But anyway, I love the way that looked. And these little tickets. That was a cute page. Kind of bulky, but I like it. Then this page, we've got the truck again. I made it a tuck spot, but I haven't put anything there. Just a ruffle from one of my pieces of vintage fabric. This is a little notepad. Christmas dreams and Christmas wishes. May all your dreams come true. And the notepad has different, this was from um, a digital, and I don't remember who I got it from, I apologize. This is a beautiful little Christmas card, person can journal in, some extra journaling space, or recipes, or whatever. I love this, this is vintage trim. Um, this is a page out of an ideals magazine. I love the pictures in the ideals, so I just included that because a friend is what the heart needs all the time. And this person is a sweet friend. And so I kind of include this for her, but I love the basket. And then precious friend is the poem. And it is a sweet, um, sweet poem that I thought would help her. She's having a rough time right now. It's sickness in her family and her children and just pray for her. Here's two holiday recipe cards that she can put some holiday recipes on or whatever she wants to do. And this is another tuck spot with the jar, which I love. This is just vegetable seeds. And this shows an onion, opens up for journaling space. This is a lime green recipe card. It's a vintage. This is a slow cooked turkey dinner, fix it and forget it recipe card, or creamy cooker dinner. It's out of a box of cards. I I think it's vintage, but I'm not sure on that one. This was the original uh, cookbook page. I love that page. And I love this paper. I think that's either, for, for, I think that's from Noteworthy. Here are some drinks. Hot mulled cider. Uh, champagne punch, sangria, hot cranberry punch, etc. And then I back that with some pretty red gingham check. Here, this is from Sherry Schmier's kit recipe. And on this side, and I think, yes, it's a pocket that I need to poke a hole in. And then this is a page that's how to make applesauce with red hots. So the colors are so pretty. And um, somebody might like that. I'm not sure. And easy lemon pie. Oh, I need to make a thumb hole. Or maybe I'll just make a tab on that. Here's a recipe card. And it's blank on the back right now. Baked custard from the original book. A Ideals magazine picture. Gorgeous. Uh, paper from a paper pack. Right now, this just has a vintage playing card with some fruit and flowers. Some recipes. This is a pretty heavy envelope. There's my daddy. He's got to go in every one. The best Santa ever with a fabric ruffle. Here's um, a copy of a handwritten recipe. It's a little blurry. Chris Kringle cookies. It goes nicely with Santa, Santa Daddy. 
or Willie Claus, as we called him, that vintage recipe card, a gingerbread man flash card, because she loves gingerbreads, gingerbread men. Then this is a pocket. What have I put in here, if anything? Yes. Oh, a Christmas card with the truck, and it opens up for journaling space. Beautiful card. I'll leave that out. And I love this card. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. This opens. Have a, and it's a vintage card. Um, vintage recipe card. And another, looks like a guest check, vintage card from Sherry Schmier's kit. This is a CD holder I have not decorated yet. This is from Mary Englebright book, Believe. Love that. This is a pocket with pineapple upside down cake, vintage. All these cards like this are vintage recipe card. This is a beautiful Christmas card that I love. It's 3D. And you can read it there. Here's another scratch and sniff with hot chocolate from the kids' book. Sweet. The last, I haven't um, glued anything on this yet. So, and that's just there already with candy. So, um, I love it and hope you guys like it so far. I thought it turn, it's turning out cute. Like I said, I haven't embellished it. I might have to take a few pages out because it's going to be but I know she likes gator mouths so that won't be a problem and this one I have one other I'm working on are going to be just regular cookbook journals they're not Christmas unless somebody wants me to make it into one like she did that one wasn't either but she wanted one like the one I created so I did. This one I've got to reinforce here because it's tearing a little bit. These are all vintage. And this says December 25th, 1948. That's how old this one is. And I love it. So, like I said, I've got to reinforce that. I've got some gaffers tape. I will put on that. I believe we'll take care of it. So, I intended to put this pocket here and we'll see because I kind of like that there um, to Arilla from Mother December 25th 1948 and here's the um, copyright dates so I kind of hate to cover that up so I haven't decided this is um, just a tuck and I put a giant jar and I will may make it a, a shaker tag. Here's a recipe card, apple cinnamon crunch, which is vintage. It's a pretty card stock. This is a CD case that I may put here and fix up something. I'll cover, you know, this and this. Um, this is from the original. I still have to put the whole reinforcers on. This is a Texas Brownies recipe card and how to microwave them. Special helps. This may come out. Some of these, I've got to put the whole reinforcers. Measuring methods, uh, a CD cover. This will have something in it or I might take it out and make a shaker card. I don't know. Another page from the book with... Um, Cheese Guide to Good Eating. This is from Sherry Schmier, and I've got some brown pom-pom trim glued there on the sides. I've got cream and then a little ruffle, and it's a pocket with Chinese chicken noodle soup, which I love. Tells you how to make that. And I've got to glue that down better because it's trying to come loose. So let's do that right now. Of 
course, when I go to decorate it, I'd have found it too. And that's just a little um, cluster thing I did with a vintage piece of doily and a vintage button. Some popcorn, the old timey way, which is the best way. This is the inside of a Amazon mailer. If you, it's the padded kind. When you tear it open, it's got this, and this all rubs off and makes a mess. But I thought it looked like polka dots, and I love that. This is from the original book, notes, and then some salad dressings you can make. I have this paper clips because I'm going to glue that down or to this and we'll have two pockets or I may um, put it here I haven't quite decided just yet how I want to incorporate that but that's kind of what I'm thinking thinking about doing <laughs> um, and I may take these out to give more room to you got places to write. This is you recognize some of these pages are in all of the Better Homes and Gardens books. Mixing cakes. Here's a. This is a digi kit in my Etsy shop. Um, old advertisements. This is a Coca Cola one. And the pom pom trim. This is from an old Price Is Right game. And there's a. Sausage scramble citrus cup recipe. And it fits kind of tight, so I might need to put something else there. We'll see. Another um, pocket here. And this has glazed ham with peaches. It does not sound very good to me. And then this is a copy of an original that I have in my stash of a. Uh, grocery and provisions bill where they paid five dollars and 43 cents for their groceries and you could journal on the back like i say these are just the pages it took me forever just to pick out the pages and then i decorated some that's a vintage button it's one of my clusters in a vintage button Some more original pages. Hot chicken salad, Una Louie's recipe, hot baked chicken salad. And then I backed it with some coffee dyed paper. Um, I was trying to pick that up. This is just a page from another book. A handy spice and herb guide, which I thought was interesting. This is um, just a piece of cardstock. To decorate. I may make it into a pocket. Life's Little Things from Ideals Magazine and that is a poem that is really cute. Back with some of the vintage papers original. This is an envelope that I've glued down to this page. And journaling space. Pecan pie recipe from a vintage recipe. And this was out of um, an, a recipe book that I have. A vintage one. From the original book, here is Banana O Fruits and Cranberry Peach Cobbler. That looks really good. These are all vintage. Um, you saw this in some of the other books. I've got this nailed down because I want to make that a pocket. Um, but I, right now, that's where I've got it tucked. We'll see. And these are some things I want to use. This is an old advertisement that I scanned. Old timey mixer right there. This is a vintage recipe card, a really big one that I'll punch holes in and put there. This is um, just... I can put a picture in there or make a shaker card. I'm not sure. Here's another ball jar. I may not have all those in there. Here's a nice envelope. I have a, it's got candies in it. Isn't that cute? Super cute. So I don't know if I'll leave that or not. 
So you, I might use some of those candies and the other shaker things I'm going to do. This is from an old cookbook here. Ham potato salad, salmon potato salad. Cool stuff. Humpty Dumpty eggs. This is from a children's cookbook. And meat loafettes. This is a um, playing, jumbo playing card. A tuck spot with scotch teas. Shopping list, like in the other uh, the book for my and my friends. And some recipes there. And this is from the original book. Uh, Ideals Magazine picture. This is a tuck. <coughs> Excuse me. With avocado chili. I've never heard of such. But there's the pictures of how you do it. Interesting. Some of these old vintage recipe cards really have interesting recipes that some people don't even eat now. This is just pretty paper. Unbothered right now. This is a side tuck. Um, this is some handmade paper. And Caesar salad recipe card. Recipe card, vintage card. It's from an old cookbook. I was going to... Um, that's a that other recipe card that's not been punched, but I copy dyed this one and just have that tucked in. I may fold that back and glue it down because it's upside down on this side. It doesn't really matter. Pretty strawberry page. Love it. This is just a paper pack backing this original page. This is a CD cover, which right now I just got this sparkly journaling spot tucked in there. I don't know if it'll stay. I made this tuck um, with the apple. This was for a kid's, like a school teacher's room. And these are vintage um, index cards that have... Some of the handmade paper just helps make that a tuck, and then that's a tuck on the other side. So put that. I don't know if this stuff will stay as you see it now. I've just got stuff kind of chicken enchiladas, and then this side's coconut pineapple top cake, and that's a yellow index card from the original book. Pretty cardstock. Original book, another uh, envelope that's made into a tuck. We have an apple, A for apple, and this is a index card. May or may not stay there. Original dill pickles from the original book. Pressure canning rosy pear compote recipe card. That just is already there from the original book. Original book, Ways with Baked Beans. I love baked beans. This is from a paper pack package of scrap papers that I got. And something stuck. Here we go. So we've got grapes. And he did make a thumb hole in there too. This is lamb and vegetable kebabs. It's a page out of a, a magazine. And I just cut that out. I may just use the picture. I'm not sure because I cut off some of the recipe. This is Chilaki. Chilaquiles. I don't know how you say that. It looks really good, though. <laughs> then here we have R for rooster. And here's what's for dinner. Journal on the back. This is a lime green envelope that I may use or may take out. This is a piece of wallpaper border that I really like. And then we've got 
another, this is E for egg. Um, drop cookie trio, vintage card, and another index card. A lot of work goes into these to fill them up. Uh, coffee dyed paper I did. And it's a pocket at the top with zippy beef casserole recipe card. And you've got vintage lace there and there. New Jiffy Bread, that's from the original book. And here's one of those ball, uh, mason jar cards of things made into a pocket jelly and longest spaghetti nasal ejection. It is about food, and that's strange, in the Guinness Book World of Records. So I've got those for now. Tucked in there. This is vintage, very, very vintage um, card that I made into a tuck spot with a little tag with a tab. This is a vintage um, Thanksgiving greetings card from 1910. And you can read it if you buy it. This is oven porcupines, which looks really good. It's a Betty Crocker recipe oven porcupines. So, cool card. Now, on this side, um, it's tea dyed. And this was in my Etsy shop with part of my. Um, stuff. That's a ruffle I did. Here's a pretty color, turquoise color envelope that I um, am going to cut. If I haven't, no I haven't. I'm going to cut this to make it a side tuck. This is from a vintage cookbook that I backed and put down. Banana treasure. Fried bananas. Um, I for, that looks like a pie to me, pie, a show it's phonics, a banana and an egg, cute little cards. This is from somebody, and I love this kit, it's got a lot of roosters and chickens, so that's there. This is in my Etsy shop unless I hid it because nobody's buying it. The old advertisements, I was selling the digitals. Um, a chicken. Because, you know, corn flakes go with chickens and corn. I don't know why I think that. And here's a recipe from an old book, uh, buttermilk cornbread. And it's pretty cool. And this is um, popcorn. Ooh, this is saying to have a glass of milk and drop your popcorn kernels, or not popcorn kernels, after the popcorn has popped, you put the popcorn into the glass, one kernel at a time, slow down towards the end to give the popcorn a chance to settle, and then when you're done, eat the popcorn with a spoon and drink the milk. I never heard of such, and I don't know that I would want to do that. Hmm. Original from the book. I love this. this is from an Ideals magazine. That rooster, I love him. And this is from an original from the this book, and another original from the book. And that's from a paper pack with an old piece of tape I put there. And that is the end of that one. So I just have to embellish it. Um, it probably is not going to stay just like this. but And I don't know if I'll decorate the front. I'm going to fix this. So we'll see. So that's that. And the last one I have... I'm taking too long, is a Betty Crocker cookbook. It's wider, um, and it's kind of dirty, but, and I will just go quickly through this to let you see the pages. Ideals, 
ideals and this is a tuck spot that's a poem this is going to be a pocket with a kb and friends and an index card those it's showing you what I've got lined up again. May not stay this way. And you can tell ideals. This was a different book that I had. Ideals. I like that. Ideals. It's a vintage recipe card. This is a different cookbook. That's going to be there somehow. How to carve pork. Here's a little envelope. It's really cute. I made a little piece of that a wall border. A vellum envelope. Way down there. And she's sweet. I love this two pictures. Cabbage rolls. Here's another. Um, that's a clear pocket. Love this. Poem. Lots of cool recipes in these, and I know people don't use them very much anymore um, because you can look things up on the internet, but I love looking at them. It's going to be a pocket. Look at that. And this flips out. I may have yet another flip out. You'll see this book had these up there. I'm just leaving them for now unless I think of something to do. That's a CD thing. It's from a child's book. Pretty. Love, love, love. There's lots of ideals, images, pages. Love them. Here's my dill pickle tag that I made. And I'll make it and back it with clear on the back so that you can um, journal on it. It'll have something there. And here's a dill pickle county fair winner. The county fair. Homemaker's Prayer. And some little. This is handmade paper. It's going to be a belly, a wide tuck there. That fun. Ideals. Love that. Fashion Kitchen. Card. I could play music, but I don't know how to do that. I love these pages. Loaf of bread. Isn't that pretty? I just like looking at the pages. The old churn. I wrote that down. Cheese. I think this one's kind of by sections. The others, I, I started that way, and I was just having to take out too much. So I'm not sure if this will stay that way or not. Love that page. That too. All of these are so pretty. Just make you feel warm and cozy inside to me. That looks really yummy. Crunchy apple crisp. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Some gingerbread people. Baking day. Hmm. 
Love it. This is, and I've got my grandmother's that I still can't find. I wanted to do hers at the same time. This was off of the calendar. So I'm still on the hunt for where I put it so I wouldn't lose it. Now I've lost it. It's another from a calendar. Really good. Chris Kringle cake. That probably should go in the Christmas one, but I love it. Leave it there. I know this is a bit long, but I just wanted to show you guys all three. Status. Look at the gingerbread people. That one was a little too big to put in hers. Gingerbread people. Scotch shortbread. I just love it. This is going to be a tuck for coffee. And then that's milk. Probably going to be a tuck there. Maybe not. It might go on a different page. This was in my um, advertising digital kit. Vintage button and lace. Recipes there. Tea time. Janet K. Tea time. If you watch it, I don't know. This was something I wanted to include in here because I love the popcorn the first Thanksgiving. Popcorn toppings. This kind of goes like this. We'll see. This is just a collage page I did. This is from a vintage magazine. Or not magazine, cookbook. Like a collage board, but it's going to be a Frankenborg, and I'm going to sew on it. Some songs we gather together. Home for Thanksgiving. More recipe cards. Terms you need to know. This I wanted to put in. Don't guess measure. Beautiful page. Housewife's Prayer. So that is the last one. So I'm working on these three, two of which are not yet claimed. And this Betty Crocker one is um, larger and wider than this. So thank you for watching. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll try to do some craft with me if I can as I work on these more. Know that God loves you and so do I. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.